Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we got another unboxing review video. This is from a uh, another tool from Saker BM. That's S A K E R B M. This one's coming from Memphis, Tennessee. So we're going to open this up. We're going to check it out. As you probably can tell by the title, this should be interesting and it should be very helpful for me. So we'll get into that here in a second. So let's get this opened up and let's check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead. Got monkey's old knife here. Starting to rust a little bit. She kept it clipped onto her um, her life vest in the boat and got a little rusty. I'm gonna have to get her another one. But anyway, it's not about that. Let's go ahead and let's get this opened up here. While I'm opening this, monkey had something funny happen to her today. But that's another video as well. So This is going to be so handy for me. Let's set this over here. Packing slip. Yeah. Saker BM. Mini chainsaw. Four inch portable electric chainsaw. Cordless handheld chainsaw. Pruning pruning shears, pruning shears, chainsaw for tree branches. Okay, now uh, let me get this shown to you here. This is the company. Again, links will be in the description below. Um, so far, uh, the other two products they sent me, I have not used the buffer yet in a real life scenario, but I have used the the grease gun adapter and it's more useful than I thought it would be it can go in more places than I thought it would so that that's that has helped me out a lot this will too so let's see here picture of it here looks upside down in the camera okay product selling point it says um, rechargeable electric chainsaw. The Saker Mini chains Chainsaw is equipped with a 20 volt rechargeable lithium battery, which can be used for a long time. Charging at charging at any time, convenient and fast. Here, let me move this. I can't see that. There's a. There we go. Um, lightweight and portable. It is pretty light. Uh, lightweight and portable this uh, it says this Saker mini chainsaw weighs only 1.1 kilogram including battery it can be used with one hand and it is not easy to get tired after long-term use uh, see we were going to buy one of these but not this brand because I didn't know they had them and I've been looking for them because I've been wanting one to take camping because last time we went camping, I just used a handsaw and it about wore me out. Uh, you know, I can't do the things I used to do, most of you guys know. So we were going to buy one of these and we thought, well, we need to hold off. So I held off for a while and they reached out to me about this and I was like, oh, absolutely. Yes, I will definitely, you know, review this for you. Um, it is very suitable for family for family and temporary work. Even the elderly can easily control it. Well, I'm getting elderly. <laughs> okay. Easy to carry. Small and convenient. Quick and easy to assemble. To assemble? Yeah. To assemble. Just need one minute for all install. Okay. Strong dynamic system. Saker Mini Chainsaw adapts a high quality grade chain that has undergone a deep 
quenching process. That's uh, if you guys don't know what quenching is, it's when metal is really hot and you quench it. You either uh, like put it in water real fast or put it in oil real fast, and that really tempers it, makes it really hard. Um, in addition, oh, to ensure smooth cutting. In addition, a pure copper motor is used, which is very powerful. Cutting efficiency is higher and faster. Okay, step one, install the guide plate, install chain into the sprocket. Pay attention to the direction of the chain knife. We'll get into that. Uh, if you guys are getting one of these, you, you probably used the chainsaw before, but anyway, I'll show you anyhow. Uh, step two, tighten the, the screws with a wrench. Step three, install the battery. Install the battery. The installation. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but okay, this is um, this is what's in the box here. There's the instructions. Okay. Here's some more monkeys out front with her mom. Some more pictures for you. The motor, chain, and bar. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's open this this up. All right. There's our little wrench. Here. Like I said, as always, there will be links in the description. I'm sure this battery is going to need charged. And so we'll charge that up and then we're going to take this out back and try it out. 20 volt, max 1.5 amp hour. That's pretty good. All right. And here's the charger. goes in there in fact let's get this on the charger uh, there's a little light here just like the the buffer and it will change to a different color when it's fully charged so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and charge this or put it on the charger right now I have a place to plug into right here all right now yeah, it's red and then once it charges, it'll be green. Okay, so there's that. Let's move this out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A little bit of oil. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, here's our little booklet here and their, their booklets are, are really easy to read so save these instructions you got your warnings you got your specifications chainsaw safety <coughs> I'm so sorry chainsaw safety do not overreach <laughs> and do not cut above shoulder height that's pretty much with any chainsaw okay so there we go. Chain oil. So you just put this so it's cool. I've got um, bottles that are a little bit bigger than this. I'll probably carry with me. But yeah, that is cool. So the chain's already on here. It does feel a little tight. Uh, let me make sure they got it on the right way. I bought a new chainsaw one time. It was a still chainsaw. And they actually had the chain on backwards. I started cutting with it. I didn't think to check. It was brand new. Started cutting with it. It wasn't cutting. I knew exactly what it was. This one is on right. So. And you got your. You got a little lanyard here. You got your safety button you push that button and then pull the trigger so yeah 
Okay, let me check this. Make sure there's nothing else I've got to do. First, um, hex bolt, hex wrench. The cha chains, the chainsaw may become loose after many hours of use. Well, that's with any chainsaw, especially you guys that use a chainsaw. You know it, it will come loose. Um, I always tighten mine. I always sharpened and and tighten my chain every tank full of gas like if I was cutting all day. Um, so grasp the chainsaw in the middle of the guide bar and lift up. The, gra the gap between the guide bar and the tie strap of the chainsaw should be approximately two to three millimeters. If the ga gap is not approximately two to three millimeters adjust the tightness of the chain by screwing the screw depth with a screwdriver okay. which is right down in there so what you what you do is you loosen that right down in there's a Phillips screw I'm going to go get a screwdriver right now and we're going to go ahead and adjust this because I think that's just way too tight. Okay. So let me go get this thing is cute. <laughs> but like I said, camping, this is going to be so great, you know, for for camping. Um, when there's limbs and stuff, you know, laying around, I'll show you when we when we test this out. Um, you know, this is going to be good for cutting it so I don't have to cut my uh with my big saw and I think this will probably I could probably put this in my backpack it's not that heavy you know I mean my camera's heavier than this my camera's two pound it may be about the same weight but I may be able to put this in my backpack I'm not sure uh, I know I've got room for it but anyway um, so yeah let's go ahead and adjust this chain let me go get a screwdriver that was fast. I didn't even have to get up. They give you a screwdriver. It was in the box. So, what we're going to do here, just going to loosen this up, just like with any chainsaw, and get right down in here in that little screw, and we're going to loosen this up a little. Just a little bit more. See? That's where I like them to be. Um, maybe I'll go just, I'll take it back to where I had it. Also, you can try to spin it. If it doesn't want to spin, it's too tight. I've also had chainsaws tighten up before instead of loosening. That's another issue that we're we don't have to worry about right now. It's not really an issue. It just it happens. You know, especially gas-powered big chainsaws. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to tighten this down. Yeah, I've been wanting one of these. When they ask me about it, oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Also, sometimes on any chainsaw, when you tighten your your uh, your nuts up here, there's usually two on a big chainsaw. This is tiny, so it only needs one. Um, once you tighten that, make sure you make sure it'll spin good because. Um, sometimes they will tighten up when you tighten your bolt so let's go ahead and it says just to drip this onto the chain the oil I'll read this to you it says caution always be sure that the tool is switched off and the battery cartridge is removed before lubricating the chainsaw so always use vegetable oil vegetable oil okay when pruning fruit trees. Mineral oil may harm the trees. Good point. Lubricate the hole 
chainsaw evenly before each use. Also lubricate it when replacing a fully discharged battery cartridge with a charged one. So kind of like what I said before, I always uh, tighten my chain and sharpen my chain after every tank full of uh, fuel. Um, so it's kind of like what they're wanting you do to do here. So let's go ahead and get this. So that's cool that I can use vegetable oil. And like I said, I'll carry my little thing with me, my little bottle, and I can keep this full and have my bottle for extra. Oh, and I'll show you that picture. I meant to show you that. It just shows you dripping it on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and that way it, it helps get it down into like if you lift this up a little bit that gap there you can also get some down in there because remember this is not going to need an oiler on it guys because you know it's not cutting through 10 and 12 inch logs you know this is just it's pruning you know which is kind of like what I'll be using it for just small branches you'll see you just do that every um, doesn't take long because it's so you know it's such a small little saw so there you go that's good and then I'll probably wipe the excess off you can see where it's running down on the blade but that's okay because it's staying on the chain all right now I'm gonna wipe the excess off let's fire it up first and then we'll we'll let it fully charge so let me get this wiped off I should have did that before I put the oil on it but they say don't do that which yeah it makes sense but I just want to hear this thing run then we'll charge it fully we'll go out back and cut some stuff up okay I like that it says you can charge it any time so you don't have to wait on it to run down to charge it. if you use it for five or ten minutes or whatever even five minutes you can put it back on the charger so it's good to go for the next time so let's put this on here now I'm not sure but I'll check and see if my other battery for my um, for my buffer that they sent me see if it'll fit in here and vice versa and then I'll kind of have two batteries for each one like for the buffer then I'll be able to do a whole car with it for sure but yeah let's see there we go all right so yeah see that's why and I wiped it off but now we'll wipe this off a little bit wipe this off can't really over oil it it just keeps the sawdust and stuff from getting too built up in it and uh, so you can take take this off with that screw right there and that and you can take that off and really get it clean good when you're done with it very nice okay like I said I'm gonna let this charge and I'm gonna see hang on a second let me I got my battery right over here for my buffer let's see if it fits on here and if it does it's pretty much fully charged we'll use that battery and we can take this out and try it out immediately because I'm really excited about this one so let me grab this battery. I was wrong, it takes this battery. <laughs> That's all right, because I would definitely be ordering another battery from them for this and this. That's, you know, so that way I always, always like to have extra batteries, especially this. Um, and I also have ways to charge this thing when I'm camping, because, you know, I car camp a lot. Now, if I'm hiking doing my solo camp out or if I'm on a boat or something um, if I'm on a boat I can bring extra stuff but I think 
when I'm hiking I think this is not going to be an issue to uh, carry around in my backpack and I think like I said um, if I'm hiking I prob I usually know if I'm doing a solo I usually don't build a big fire but sometimes I will build a fire and uh, so this is going to be super nice I do like the looks of that chain see how that's blued that means yes that was hot and dipped in probably oil that's how you get that bluing so that's pretty cool that was quenched all right let's get this charged up and try it out okay guys we got this charged up took about an hour monkey wanted me to try this out here on this route well I can probably pull this out of here but let's try it first cut Okay, that's pretty impressive. I can't see what you're seeing here. This is gonna be handy, I can tell you that right now. Real handy. Let's cut some more stuff. We'll get Monkey to try it out. She's never used a saw before in her life, especially not like this. So, well, not a chainsaw anyway. So we'll get her and we'll see what she thinks of it. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger. Very nice. I am really, really impressed with that. Awesome. All right. Yeah, we're gonna let Monkey give this a shot. Let's see what she thinks of it. I mean, we just cut off one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Pretty cool. Now, this is a pretty big piece here. It's part of our Christmas tree I just pulled out of the burning pit. Let's try it. Now my hands are sticky, but uh, yeah, I'm impressed with that. See the difference there, the sizes of them. Yeah, so. All right, pretty good so far. Okay, got Monkey here. First time she's ever used this kind of a saw in her life. So she did verify that for me. I'm gonna hold the wood for her. I showed her how to use it. Go for it, Monk. What do you think? Nice. <laughs> she likes it. Want to do one more? Yeah. All right, do one more. Oh, I'm just holding the wood for her. And you don't have it's, to hold that button. Once you just, just the one time? Just the one time when you oh. start it and then see, you can take, you, you push your button, pull your trigger, then you can just let go of it so you get comfortable. Oh, okay. I see. All right? Yep. That way it's more comfortable for you. Very cool. All right. It's so light. I it like is it. light, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. We've, like, like I said, yeah. we've been wanting to get one for camping. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. Um, I cut a piece of our Christmas tree off. Say what? A piece of our Christmas tree. Uh oh. Aww. Okay. So it'll cut. 
through that big anyway. Well, that's nice because if we had to trim it, it'll be handy. Well, what I'm saying is I can cut, I know I can cut logs this big around. Yeah. Out in the woods with it when well, we go camping. Because mm -hmm. I, that's, that's a lot better than shh, shh, shh. Yeah. That was a pain and she couldn't do it, you know, so. Mm -mm. All right. That's quite nice. It's not hard to do at all. No. No. No, it's not easy. Very light, so I'm not stressed or straining. And they saw the, um, already showed them a little thing, oil. Mm -hmm. You can use vegetable oil. That's really so, cool. Yeah. I like it. Very and like cute. she said earlier when I told her that, she said usually people carry little things of oil with them camping for yeah. cooking and stuff. Yeah, so that's but kind of a great idea yeah. that you can at least use the vegetable Yeah, oil. because see, you don't have to fill it up with anything. Yeah. So all you do is you only have to oil that chain um, once every time you change the battery or charge the battery. It's so, so. cute. Isn't that cute? It is cute. All right. We're going to give you our final thoughts. Okay, so she's never run a chainsaw. A big chainsaw is a lot different than this, but it's the same basis. What do you think for never running a saw like this before? Easy peasy. Yeah, have you ever run a power saw at all? I don't think so, no, no. But you've definitely never ran one of these before? No. No? no. Mm -mm. Okay, well there you have it. And it's easy peasy? Yeah, it was okay. very easy. Very easy. It runs good. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, for for a chainsaw, it's quiet. I understand it's electric, but it is quiet. Yeah, it That's is. That's a very plus, quiet. especially out oh. camping, even during the day. I don't like to hear chainsaws running and and generators running and stuff like that. But this zip, zip, zip a couple times. You got enough wood for the night. Yeah, it would have been nice using that when we went camp and then you had to get that wood and we had to cut it, remember? Yeah, that's when she said, Yeah. Why don't you just go ahead and buy one of them saws? Yeah. Because we see people advertising or um, reviewing these a lot on YouTube. I said, Well, I'll look into it. And I was seeing them, they're reasonable. And I was like, For some reason, I didn't. I said, I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. And she said, Well, you just need to order one. I said, No, I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit and see what else is out there. Because I've only seen two or three. I said, there, I know there's a lot more out there. Mm -hmm. So, so far, like I said, uh, I never had one this small before. I've had smaller ones, but not this small. But I like it. Um, the ease of use, vers versatility of it, you take it anywhere, yeah. cordless. Um, if there was one thing I would improve on on this, it has nothing to do with me because I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. But a left-handed person, <coughs> that button kind of, you see what I mean? I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I would, I would put one up here, somewhere up in here. Uh, if it was me to push a button there, with, that way you could use either thumb. Yeah. Or make this one go clear click. through either side. Click, click. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm no means <laughs> knocking this, and I'm telling you not to get it even if you're a left-hander. You know, I'm sure left-handed people, my brother was left-handed, uh, I'm sure left-handed people can get used to doing stuff like that. But, yeah, that's the only thing I would change about it if I changed anything. Like I said, it's not a deal-breaker for me. Even for a left-handed person, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But, you know, I think for them, yeah, I would put one, you know, probably right here, just dead center of the top. Yeah. You know, and then you could squeeze your trigger. Right. Other than that, <coughs> well, yeah, it's nice. Saker, you hit it out of the park again. Uh, nice. I'm giving it two thumbs up. I'm five out of five stars. What are you giving it? Same. Same? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, so far, everything that they've sent me, they've sent me three items now, and all three of them are amazing. Like I said, I don't know the longevity. It could break next week. I don't know, guys. But as I use it, you know, I'll give you updates on it here and there and let you know how it's doing. But it, And it's comfortable. It's just as comfortable as a drill. You know, it just it feels good. This is a rubberized handle right here. You know, so, and you got a guard here so you don't hit your hands. Um, I like this. <coughs> so, I did get your brute cut out of the front yard. Oh, did you? Thank uh, you. She had to go to the store. So, yeah. Um, 
I will definitely be ordering batteries from them for this for this saw and I'm good she's having a coughing fit like I was earlier uh, when we're like sometimes it's worse than the after effects is worse than when you're really sick you know like I've had a cough since I had the bronchial pneumonia she's had a cough since the COVID so but anyway guys yes two thumbs up five star for me I'll let you know on the longevity of it easy to clean easy to work on really ain't nothing to work on but the chain you know sharpen the chain good to go um, yeah thank you Saker I really appreciate this it will get a lot of use and again you guys are great man another great product in my book so um, yeah here we go um, yeah so no complaints for me Shea Bear the myth the man a legend I'm gone for now stay tuned for more videos and some more review videos we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care stay safe